Today's tech-driven, globalised world offers criminals more means to commit fraud and hide their tracks. At the same time, regulators are expecting more from organisations to manage integrity risks. Organisations have a critical task to disrupt the increasingly complex fraud landscape and to instil trust with employees, customers and the broader marketplace. To do this requires an integrity agenda built on four pillars. Governance, culture, controls and data insights. Governance is the structure of integrity, ethics, compliance management and the policies that guide behaviour within an organisation. If you don't get the governance right, gaps and risks will naturally appear. Employees and business partners will see this behaviour and follow suit. The integrity agenda requires consistent actions using a governance model known as the three lines of defence. First and foremost, the responsibility of the business leaders in demonstrating integrity in their day-to-day -day business decisions and setting an example. Secondly, compliance functions in helping to design and implement controls and systems to enable everyone else to do the same. And finally, internal audit providing an independent assessment of the effectiveness with which the organisation has fostered a culture of integrity. This governance model should live and breathe with the organisation as it evolves, and the organisation must be ready to refine it in line with changes in their business. Organisations need to be proactive. It is what the stakeholders would expect. And in the current climate, falling short is likely to be seen as willful blindness. A culture of integrity is critical to building trust and reducing the risk of fraud and corruption. One crucial indicator of culture is a response to whistleblowing, as we have seen in South Africa's ongoing and unprecedented investigations into corruption. If someone has a concern they want to raise, they need to be able to feel they can raise it without being thought of as a troublemaker and on a confidential basis. Companies need to normalise and indeed encourage this behaviour. To manage and implement culture effectively, organisations need a way to measure it. And it's only recently that advancements in technology have made this possible. Measuring culture requires a wide range of data. One source, for example, is employee satisfaction survey result. Another one is uh, travel expenses, year-end evaluation results, as well as uh, exit interview results. Using behavioural science as well as artificial intelligence, you can create a series of cultural indicators, such as the employee's perception of the management, the impact of compensation plans on the behaviour of employees. Having timely and personalised compliance communication is key. We helped a global manufacturing company to set up a really vital and agile compliance communication and training system. Each employee has a digital footprint, which is called the twin. And it's based on the job profile of the individual. If, for example, such a sales employee is moving into a, a customer contact and he's planning a trip to a country with a non-compliance history and a corruption history, um, then this system informs him just in time about the risks he's moving in and also offers him adequate training. Organisations must have controls and procedures that help embed integrity into their everyday operations. An effective control system helps you reduce your legal, ethical and criminal risks that may be out in the marketplace, at the same time helping you protect your reputation and market value as a result. Some of it may be as simple as tracking the different regulatory rules that you're trying to adhere to in different regions. Uh, some of it could be trying to put a third-party risk management program in place. Organisations have a responsibility to make certain that not only their employees follow ethics standards and compliance requirements, but that their business partners do so as well. Over the last year, we've helped a global pharmaceutical company put in an entire third-party risk management program. What sets this platform apart it gives them more risk insights than they've ever had. These insights are split into two key elements. The first is the amount of data that's available to assess. It's not just looking at the company's internal data, it's also looking at a number of things that are available publicly. 
could be court records, could be media reports, regulatory filings. But the second one is being able to then harness that data. So what are you going to do with it? Uh, and using things like artificial intelligence and data analytics to narrow down, you know, what are those specific risks that you see with the data? Technology advances in AI and data analytics are helping humans to make better informed and better timed decisions. RPA technologies have enabled organizations to achieve operational agility by automating routine and repetitive tasks. This has resulted in the ability to deploy highly skilled workers on high-risk areas and strategic needs. AI and data analytics technologies cut through the data exhaust and generate transparency and consistency. Data-centric technologies are frequently used in market misconduct investigations, remediation and compliance surveillance. We assisted a Tier 1 bank to establish a cloud-based trader surveillance platform. As part of that, we aggregated transactions that included client orders, sales, market pricing, and electronic communications. We built machine learning algorithms and data analytics to translate trading risks into behavioral patterns to detect market abuse. Data visualization is embedded into our case management system to enable users to perform market intelligence, statistical analysis, and transaction review. The outcome is an effective and efficient trader surveillance platform. Data insights are the foundational pillar of the integrity agenda in today's digital era. Data brings transparency and better ability to track and find fraud. It's extremely critical, especially in the emerging markets. For instance, you have the Ukrainian and the Indian governments which are bringing in technologies like e-procurement to track and find data so that it can be analyzed and it's extremely important from an integrity perspective. In emerging markets, where the risk of fraud is often perceived to be high, being able to harvest data from a variety of sources is improving the understanding of corporate risk. Harvesting data from different sources, like government directions, third-party vendors, employees, is far better than just following the standard checklist-based approach. The insights from this data harvesting are far more valuable. Analyzing available information about violations and breaches can offer robust evidence as to the effectiveness of a compliance program. Crucially, you can determine whether the program is influencing corporate behavior and strengthening integrity. In short, data underpins the integrity agenda. Whether it's faster or more detailed feedback about governance and culture, or creating predictive models to future-proof your business to become risk resilient, Think about the ability you are going to have to react to risks. However, increased use of data does raise the important question of privacy. Around the world, data protection and privacy are becoming increasingly important issues, protected by laws in places like the US and the EU. Data privacy laws are forcing everyone to relook at their compliance programs. It is forcing companies to audit their compliance programs to ensure that they are compliant with the data privacy laws. In this fast-paced, ever-evolving business landscape, companies know fraud schemes are increasingly complex and hard to detect. And yet, at the same time, both regulators and the public are holding companies to rising standards of integrity. Integrity needs to be embedded in mindsets and daily choices. It delivers trust, critical to an organization's effectiveness and reputation. If I had to summarise, I'd say the four overlapping pillars of the integrity agenda help organisations be more transparent, maintain confidence and build trust in a highly competitive world.